As a logistics company, we're often presented with different scenarios and situations. One of the situations that we find ourselves in now is there's a music festival that's in town. They lost their contract with their water provider. And so one of the things that we're uniquely uh, positioned to do is we run fiber optic cables through ducts or pipes. If you buy a different kind of pipe that's made for water, then we kind of got in the water distribution business. In the event logistics world is kind of the same world like people build little bitty cities to operate to have a festival we build little bitty cities to operate to have a base camp to work out of to restore after a hurricane so it's kind of the same thing except these people are coming to have fun and a lot of times we're coming to help people that are in need These guys are hooking up all the water to the shower trailers and the bathroom trailers. What we're doing is we're teeing off of this two inch line that we installed Friday. And we're going one inch and three quarter lines uh, to the bathroom and shower trailers. We finished one area of bathroom and shower trailers. We're still fusing the two inch together. What this machine does is it clamps down on your two loose ends of your pipe and it's got a cutter in there and makes two smooth sides on the two inch, which leaves you with, uh, with those cuttings right there. Then you put this heater in between. You heat up both sides of the pipe, take that heater out, and then you smash it together like they've done here. What you want it to look like is rolled up right here once it melts it together. Sometimes it's interesting because our guys, they're uniquely positioned to provide the labor and the expertise that we need to do many different things. So at Parker, we're able to maybe take what would be out of our normal scope and put it into the scope of a festival or a hurricane or a disaster recovery operation. And so it's kind of a, a way that we're uniquely positioned to provide all kinds of different services with a workforce that has a group of skills that are traditionally utilized in one field. So it gives us multiple silos that we can operate in and those guys kind of do the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're burying a pipe to put water in it or if you're burying a pipe to put a fiber cable in it. We've got six poles that we're setting up here for lighting. Right now, setting some poles for these guys. This is our digger truck, and uh, we're digging them about five foot deep, and then gonna come back, set the poles, and uh, pack the dirt back in around the holes, and then on to the next. We have a well that does 50, 60 gallons a minute, and behind me are two tanker trailers that hold 7,000 gallons, so it gives us 14,000 gallons. We have another well up there that does 30 gallons a minute, and another 7,000 gallons. So we built kind of like a little baby municipal water system. So we have 21,000 gallons of storage. This would be kind of like the tanks you see in a town where they're high and elevated. So we have these two pumps that'll run all the time to pump the water out. So we're basically using the well to fill the tanks with the fresh water and then we use this water system these two pumps and a pump on that tanker to pressurize the system so that we basically built a little small water system for a small town here we've got the water on to all the emergency personnel's uh, campers and stuff now we're putting in these tees for the staff rv camper right here trying to get the water on to all these guys all we like is uh, putting on a couple more tees and putting on some caps we've got a couple more splices to do and our water system will be 100% complete. We basically built a small municipal water system on top of a festival. It all kind of came together. So to kind of wrap up, a lot of people like specs. I like specs, I'm a spec kind of guy. So if we start with the water source, we had two wells. The big well would do 55 gallons a minute and the little well would do 33 gallons a minute. Now these are a function of the pump capacity, five horsepower pump, probably a horsepower and a half pump, 
we took those two wells and they emptied straight into three food grade tankers, 6,500 gallons each. So a total capacity of stored water on the property of 19,500 gallons. So we did three pumps, one pump at each tanker. Uh, so we had three pumps that could do 70 gallons a minute, a 210 gallon total, and we had 120 taps. Utilized across two inch pipe, we've deployed 15,000 feet of pipe, that's nearly three miles. Uh, we had one inch of PEX, one inch PEX 1,500 feet, and three quarter PEX we had 1,200 feet for a total of 1,200 taps. So this would be like water faucet kind of taps. I think we had approximately 250 showers, 40 or 50 bathroom trailers and then a whole bunch of RVs and other folks using water, food services. Uh, we filled up an 88,000 gallon pool that we filled up at the same time that we didn't really design for, but we were able to do that. And we could also fill up 4,000 gallons on the uh, water trucks for dust suppression that were, wasn't really supposed to be potable water, but we had so much capacity left in the system that it worked out good. So that's what we did. The wells could do more capacity this is just what they could pump so we didn't have any problems so for our first water project went pretty good thanks for watching subscribe